The University of Utah's football stadium is getting larger, possibly as a precursor to hosting the world's biggest sporting event. ABC4's Rick Aaron has the details on the new $80 million expansion at Rice-Eccles Stadium. No game here today, but still there were two significant events happening at Rice-Eccles Stadium, and it's no coincidence that they happened on the same day. It's a look into the future. This computer animated flyover shows what the stadium will look like after the south end zone is enclosed. It'll add new locker rooms, plus a recruiting lounge, a field level club lounge, an outdoor patio, and a thousand additional seats, all combining to increase capacity from 45,807 to 51,444. For our football program, it's profound. We're able to, to go over 50,000, which I think is very important in the growth of our program. As the plans were unveiled, five members of the U.S. Olympic Committee toured the stadium, which could end up hosting the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2030 Winter Games like they did in 2002. The committee also visited venues in Park City and Kearns. You've shown us um, the venues, you've shown us that it's a still an active part of this community, and you've also shown us the things that are different from 2002 and that are better and the things that are continuing to get better. And so we understand that this is a community that knows how to host an Olympic Games and a Paralympic Games. So the fact that they're going to expand and modernize this arena is just another good thing to choose Utah for the future Winter Olympics. And I think any time you get to that 51,000 mark in capacity, I think it could bring in other great events to the stadium. You mentioned the Olympics. I'm sure that as they look at Salt Lake in the, in the future, they'll appreciate what we're doing here in expansion and also, of course, the kind of seating we're putting in. So it's a win-win for everybody. The South End Zone project is expected to be completed in 2021, nine years ahead of those possible 2030 Winter Games. At Rice-Eccles Stadium, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News. The university says no state or taxpayer money will be used for this expansion project. They will pay for it with donations and a bond they hope to pay back in 14 years.